Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to add a drop-down navbar in Django. So we will proceed and learn with the help of a small project. But before we will see a small project, we will first understand what does we mean by the navigation bar. So navigation bar is a part of a graphical user interface that is designed to make it easier for the user to locate the links to all the pages that we want to our visitor to read. So most of the time navigation bar are uh, located on the top of the page. So let's proceed with the project and learn. So here I open up my project. Here I create a Django project with the name drop down F bar project. And inside it I have created an app with the name my app. After creating an app you know that it, the next step is to activate this app. So I open up my project directory and inside it I have a settings.py file. I open this file and when I scroll down I will get an installed app list. And in this installed app list I have entered my app name which is my app uh, to install this app or activate this app. The next step is to map the newly constructed app inside the Django project URL s.py file. So inside the project directory we have a URL s.py file. I open this file and inside it I include my app by using this include function and inside it I pass my function name. The next step is to now to define the front end for the application. So you all know that the front end of the application in Django is located inside the templates folder. So I have created a template folder in the main project directory and uh, after creating it the next step is to specify its location in the settings.py file. So I again open my project directory, open the settings.py file, move to the templates list and inside it I have a dirs attribute and I set its value to templates. And then I again move to my templates folder and inside it I have created a HTML file with the name home.html to define up my front end for the navigation bar with the drop down menu. So here I have added the code which creates a navigation bar. So let's learn about it. So firstly I load our CSS and uh, place the bootstrap and jquery cnd in the head of the tab before other style sheet. Then in the body tag I include the nav tag with the class navbar and navbar hyphen expand hyphen lg. And then add a div tag with the class collapse navbar hyphen collapse and also add another div with a here you can see with the class drop down menu to add drop down menu bar, bar for adding block categories. Then I add a div tag with the class card to add a content that we want to show in the home page. Here it is. Okay. So it the card contain up the HTML content that I want to show on the screen and uh, here are the drop down items that I want to show in the navigation bar. So after defining the front end we have to also define the main logic. It is the main part of the code and the main logic of the Django is located in the views.py file and this file is located in the app directory. So I open my app directory and move to the views.py file. So here I simply create a one function uh, with the name home and it renders to the home.html template. And after creating a view file, our next step is to map it with the URL file that is located inside our app directory. So by default this file is not created, you have to create it. So I created the urls.py file and define the view in it. So here I define the view dot home and I import the view on the top. Then we have to execute the form. So for this I open my command prompt and here I write a command python manage dot py run server and hit enter. It takes time. It takes some time to begin the development server. So let's wait. 
so it successfully executed now i open in my browser so here i open up my browser you can see that it creates a navigation bar on the top here you can see my navigation bar contains the first name python guys then it has a button with the name home and then next we have a drop down with the different blocks django matplotlib turtle decanter and this welcome to the python guys thanks for lending us this page is shown with the help of the card that we have used so click on this drop down and click on some menu and you can see that it redirects to the pythonguides.com page for the django tutorials so with this we have successfully learned how to add a drop down nav bar in django if you like this video click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day